What's up to all the million dollars worth of game yes. listeners out there? If it's million dollars worth of game you're watching, if it's Gilly on Sports you're watching, if it's Adventures you're watching, if it's Where's Wallow we're watching, no matter what you're watching on right. Million Dollars Worth of Game do Network, these three things. what you need to do, you need to like, subscribe, and share. Like, subscribe, and share. Like, subscribe, share. Matter of fact, four. Like, subscribe, share, comment. Mm. Like, subscribe, share, and comment. Right. I'm talking about share with all your friends, but you gotta subscribe so you get the notification. We have a lot of big things coming. No, we got the biggest. The biggest things coming. I'm telling you stuff. You and you want to be able to get notifications. What you need to do is subscribe. Also, check out the merch. We got merch all going on. Hit the link. Check out the merch. Buy a ticket to the. There's a lot of stuff going on. Me and I was Gilly the game Fest. universe. Gilly Fest is coming. It's coming. Gilly Fest Part Two. Shh, tell you. Tell but right now, so quick. Shh. December eighth. Gilly and Wallo knockout. Knockout party. Get your tickets. Get your tickets. It's just like that. Right. It's going down December 8th. Gilly and Wallo knockout party. We got DK. We got a bunch of fights. Meatball rumbling. We got Goofies. We got White Dolomite. We, we got a bunch of people rumbling. We got people South Philly versus North Philly. We got Delaware versus, versus Philly. We got Jersey versus Philly. Big man is going down. Yeah, come on. Get I'm on. getting in there. No, I don't see. Yeah, that shit look like going down to some baby. Come on. Lock it up. Get 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 just like that, right? Hey, listen, man, what you tuned into? Man, man? you're now tuned into me, 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 million dollars worth of game. Listen, man, we got a certified Detroit play up here today, uh -huh. man. This thing is going down. First and foremost, I got to welcome you home. Listen, I know you don't know, but Big Boo Boo and them, they was holding you down. It was my cats up there, you know, when they was holding you down in the joint. <laughs> That's, that's why you ain't had no static in there. Big boo boo nah. in them. That's my homie. You know what I mean? I don't know that. <laughs> no, see, that's I mean, you wasn't you, you wasn't supposed to. But I, and I was active on the yard, man. Oh, you day. Oh, you was you was That's out. Wrong. You was out there, huh? Hey, day. But listen, man. I, I, he I just, trying to act like he put some calls in for you. Nah, yeah. you know I know some people my, still. My nephew up there, look out look for, out for nephew. Nephew. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, you remember that time <laughs> we talked? At that time we talked to you on the Facetime when we, you was in the joint. We talked. I said, let, let me make a call. I made some calls. They had the cell phones. Man, I was okay. in there smiling. <laughs> yeah, it was. I was in there like, he had a little fun. That shit was tough though. <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. hard on me. But uh. First of all, welcome home. It was yes. good seeing you with your kids. Appreciate you it. You was man. on the gram. You was with your kids. I'm like, man. And I think sometimes we don't. When we out here doing our thing and we young, we don't be knowing what we'll, we, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll be risking. Yeah. Cause you know, I know there's plenty of times and phone calls and visits. You like, damn, I gotta get home to my babies. Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah. Miss what two birthdays? You know, Valentine's Day for my just. That you used to be in her, you know. I did time before, but I want rich. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like oh, yeah. everybody wasn't depending on you, like mm -hmm. shit like that. So and I had kids. Yeah. So when I was, you know, in her this time, it was kind of like it was kind of different. Like it kind of fucked me up. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Not being to take my daughter to nowhere for her first birthday, shit like real shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, See, one thing I don't know about jail is all that should be cool till birthday come around, holiday come around. Or a bill. Or bill come around. <laughs> Motherfucking. If you ain't, if you not, if you not Muslim, Easter come around. <laughs> you cry like a mother. I miss my baby. My mother's don't tell you about that part of jail. No, for sure. That was the you. hardest part of being, you know, it wasn't the money, it wasn't like getting into it was just not being able to be there when them kids wake up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And shit like that. Yeah. And then you got to lie to him and tell him daddy at school. Shit like, man. He like, how long daddy? Daddy too old to still be in school. Man, when you graduate. <laughs> <laughs> shit like that straight up. Well, how daddy go when we ain't go to daddy graduation? <laughs> daddy, daughter, dad. Man, that shit was, man, that shit just took a, you know, that shit take a toll on you, man. He act like he held it down all he want. Yeah, I was. But you feel that sh every day in mm -hmm. that bitch. Like, yeah. Hey, day you, oh, what have you? You know, you don't even, I ain't even want to talk to people for real. Like, yeah. I ain't even want to get on the phone. Like, I just like, fuck, I'm in here. I might as well just do this shit. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Stay 
if I'm in here just staying here, I don't want to be thinking about what's happening with this and yeah. that. And that's how I got through that shit. As, as you got closer, it got harder, didn't it? Hell yeah. Because you like, man, I got 90 fucking days. You looking at the days. hours in that bitch. Like, man, I got three hours. In, you know what I'm yeah. saying? But like I said, I had a good support system. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So they was, you on your way. You get tired of hearing that shit. Yeah. Like, man, fuck being on my way. I want to come home today. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you talking to the Lord. Lord, like, yeah, I'm this one this one right here going to get you out. Oh, uh, man. You be home by Friday. Lord tell you some much bullshit in there. But you know what I'm saying? Everybody got a job to do, so. You tell you in there, you be like, man, when I get out, I'm cussing this bitch out. Stupid motherfucker. I ain't do right. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? When you get out, you just like, man, I'm just happy to be out, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, you ain't you got no beef. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even calling the lawyer. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> man, I never got to talk to y'all again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because when he first went to jail, he was calling home on some dumb shit. Yo, ride through there, see if... See if the car out there was. Like I did that I'm once. No, because what happened was, listen, I'm listen. Not doing that listen, shit. I was, listen, I was, You're listen, done. listen, I was turned You're out. You're cooked. I was turned You're out. You're not coming home. I was She's turned out. Fucked. Listen, man. I was turned out off this. Ooh. I was turned out off this chick, right? I kill you. So I call home, right? I'm like, damn, cuz. I didn't even know I was on some crazy shit. Because I'm in Detroit. I don't really dig it. I'm like, yo, listen, man. Ride through the block, man. I need you to check something out. He said, what the fuck is you on, man? I said, man, listen, man. Go and see if you know. You know what I mean? What's going on around there, man? I, you know, I just need some extra eyes on the situation. <laughs> Try to turn me into a fucking yeah, investigator. I was tripping. The you know fuck out. I, I was did younger. what? I did three months in a hole. And you only get one phone, two phone calls a month. So I was not like hearing from, like, man, nothing. So all you and that bitch thinking like, what the fuck going on out there? Like, you know what I'm yeah. You like, I wonder what's going on. Like, I ain't no letter in What the CEO was fucking with you back there? Like, they was on some dumb shit? Nah, you got your, you got, you know, you got yeah. son who fuck with you, son who on whole shit hating on you, mad at you. But hold on, you, 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 you 42. You ain't telling me you were sitting in the hole with some deep, dark thoughts. I ain't getting no letters. <laughs> what's going on out there? Man, yeah. that shit had you think, man. I was thinking him. about everything in that week. <laughs> See, I asked him that because I wanted to keep it real. You money or a type bitch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That shit. Be, man, I used to be in that bitch fucked up all day. That shit, man. Couldn't eat. That shit was fucked up, <laughs> dog. I ain't gonna lie. Was shit you, was you, up. was you shocked? Was you shocked? Because sometimes when you out here and you're doing your thing, you got a shitload of money in your account, you think you're invincible. Did you ever have that thought where you thought, nah, I ain't going down. I am, I, you know, I got money. I get out. I probably didn't think I was invincible, but I did feel like I'm not doing shit compared to what I used to be on. So jail is not even in the picture. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know, when you, you thug and you on, you, Totem pole Or this might happen That might happen All I do is rap So you know what I'm saying I'm thinking like shit You know what I'm Ain't no way I'm going to jail For shit mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying I ain't yeah. about to be Unless You know life or death situation But Like come on I went to jail for fighting You know what I'm saying mm-hmm. I had to go in front of the judge For fighting in Vegas Some shit like that So I'm like How y'all You know what I'm saying Where I'm from Like that type of shit Ain't even you don't even go to jail for that. You don't even get arrested <laughs> yeah. for that type of yeah. fighting. Yeah. So when I when they like, we want you to do six months for this shit, I'm like, ain't no motherfucking way. <laughs> yeah. Ain't no way I'm just going to this bitch for a day for anything less than violence, yeah. man. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Nigga, so, like, I do, I do six punches. Man, shit yeah, like that. Month, we gave you a month for each punch. Nigga, like, what? Man, that Fuck. shit. <laughs> you said fuck that I still that feel like I ain't You know but I ain't do shit bro <laughs> I, right, fuck, right. bro. I ain't do shit dog. <laughs> So that shit really hurt You and that bitch He might be in here for murder He might be in here for Carjacking mm-hmm. They like what you in here for bro You like man <laughs> You don't even want to tell me What you in there for <laughs> You like what? You like man. <laughs> <laughs> Next nigga, man. Yeah. Straight up. I ain't even in this bitch for real. Yeah. This shit hurt. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> what is she? Hey, next nigga, man. man for real, bro. I'm here because I socked the nigga, man. <laughs> man. 
for a long ass time. I've been for a long time for that shit. But that had gave me six months. And they go watch his motherfucking heads. That what the fuck? You th- <laughs> I ain't turned myself yeah. in though. So they gave me twelve months. Yeah. For not turning myself in. Yeah. Did you? Did you? Uh, but I'm gonna keep it all the way real. It's hard, bro. I don't think I could do that either, man. Turn yourself in. Oh yeah, you got a year. Yo, oh, come, come on Friday to no, start like your I year. Know. You'll fuck be in that big you. early. I'm the fuck out. Yeah. <laughs> that probably is not the smart thing to do, but I just can't picture me driving up to the prison like, all right, y'all, all right, baby, all right, I see y'all when I get no, you just fucking catch me when you get. <laughs> like, but they gave you extra six for that, huh? They gave me extra twelve. Oh lord, yeah, twelve months. Yeah, the money, the money, the money can can get you out of that shit. None can get you out of that bitch when you're in there with that federal judge. Mm-hmm. No, you know the, the the reason the reason the reason I'm asking you that because a lot of times people be out here doing their thing. You know what I mean? They, and they think that fucking paper. You know, you get the paper mixed with the drugs, mixed with mm-hmm. anything. Motherfucker think they're invincible, and it's good that you saying that because you giving other cats game. You gonna wake right. a lot of cats up that's out here getting that paper because I think sometimes um, it don't set in. That y'all millionaires. Yeah. You still think I'm from the block, so I could just do block shit. And it's like, no, you you a big time corporation now. So so it's crazy. But one thing I'm noticing, you seem happier, bro. Yeah. Than, than when you was out here before. You seem happier than a motherfucker, man. Cause I feel like, you know, I appreciate more. Like, you know what I'm saying? When you in there, you get to sit back, think about what you what you grateful for, what you thankful for. So Nah, I'll be like, man, I'm just, you know, I want to I, I wanna go home. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Just the other day, my people was going out to the club. They're like, you going out? I'm like, hell no, nah, I'm going home. You know what I'm saying? Bro, I can't wait to get home. <laughs> hell, <laughs> hey, like, it's sleep it. in your bed. Mm-hmm. Like, can't wait to get home and play footsies, nigga. Man, anything. Straight in your house. Toes yeah. all like this, I you swear. and your woman feet. I was telling my man, they like, what's the first thing you going to do? Oh. Yes, sir. What's up? No, for sure. <laughs> 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 We're supposed to be sitting on top of the bravest. We're <laughs> kicking it, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, this is the big dog. This little baby right here on the phone for the viewers that don't know. He's supposed to be sitting on top of that big bravest back there, huh? Top of that young and turf shit. <laughs> no, young and turf shit. Huh? We gonna get that. We gonna get that. He we said he the youngest turf nigga out, man. Only turf nigga out. Uh, you did. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> no, for sure. Gilly, how you doing? How you doing? I'm y'all? good, man. I'm good, brother. Say that again. I hate y'all in Atlanta. Ain't there though. Say that again. I hate y'all in Atlanta. Ain't there. No, you. We coming back. We coming back for you and the whole team. We coming yeah. back. We coming back with you and the whole can't be fuck with. And I'm bringing five million cash. We turn that bitch. Say no more. Say no more. Nigga said I'm bringing five million. Five million dollars worth of game. <laughs> see these niggas too. See this is what I'm talking about. Come these on, niggas man. rich, rich. <laughs> Let's do it. These niggas got too much shut money. Shut this shit down, man. Helicopters and shit yes. gonna be out there. Mother, motherfucking bank gonna be like. You want five million? You gonna show these boys who really doing this shit, man? Who yeah. ain't playing out here? Ain't got to go to the bank, though. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> ain't going to the bank. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, talk heavy. really doing this shit out here, man. Damn. <laughs> talk fucking heavy. <laughs> All right, y'all going in. Much love, man. Right, love. Much love, love. Right, love. All right, bro. You know, you know, you know what's so great to be able to to be able to come home to some solid individuals. No, for sure. That really make sure you straight. You know, you got a, you got a team of people that really that that's really want to see you win, man. And and um, what I'm seeing now is. I see a lot of love. A lot of times, you know, the media get out here and everybody is trying to show all the corny stuff that's going on. Or, yeah. or, or they try to depict that it ain't what it is. I'm talking about it could be a video or something. They, they will remix stuff, but nobody never try to highlight the brotherhood that's taking place, you know, especially here. Yeah. You know, it's a brotherhood, man. Baby Gotti said everybody putting love, love upon you to make sure you went, uh, you know, down to Britney. Everybody wants you to win. Um, how does that feel, man? Coming home to a loving family, like, cause you know, a lot of times when we walk out of the penitentiary, dudes walking out of here with don't even know what they're going to do. But yeah. you came home to you had an unbelievable landing. It make you want to do the right thing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, usually when you're young, 
everybody, you know what I'm saying, they be in your ear and shit, like, telling you the right shit. But you like, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to do what got me here. You know what I'm saying, I'm going to keep doing me. Because that's me, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying. But now I'm just like, you done had them talks with everybody, and they like, shit, we just want what's best for you. Right. Like, even when I was going through the shit, Wayne was like, man, I ain't gonna lie, I'm scared for you, bro. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah, this shit sound good. He like, man, but I don't want, you know what I'm saying? Right. And he was right. God, he was right. Everybody, and it's just like, everybody who, who I talk to, who I've been around, now they like, man, we want you to do this shit the big way. Like, we want you to, you can do this shit. You right. know what I'm saying? Like. Right. You can, your music, you know what I'm saying? Just who you is. They like, we want this shit for you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Take this shit serious. Like, take a deep breath. You know what I'm saying? And get in your bag. So, that's why I'm like, all right. I really ain't trying to force it. You know, I'm just letting it come. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Making the music how I feel. And just, you know, being ready for when my opportunity comes for me to go up. I what? just I noticed something important. You fresh out the joint. Yeah. And uh first of all, shout out to Detroit. Beautiful place. You said my spot is sloppy crab too when I'm out there I'm eating I love their food. Uh <laughs> you said you said Detroit, you know, we'd be stronger together. Yeah. La- elaborate on that because that was a that was a big that was a big move. Well I just feel like you know the world got their eyes on Detroit now, but as far as the inner city, everybody going their own ways, everybody doing their own thing. He might can't get booked with him. Mm-hmm. They might not want him on a show with me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or they might not be posting my music. Mm-hmm. I ain't listen to that shit, but, you know, it's hurting everybody as far as, you know, going up. Right. Because such and such might be able to pull you up, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Or these people might ain't gonna fuck <coughs> with you because they fuck with me. Right. You know what I'm saying? And you look at other times like Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of their hits come with each other. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's probably the easiest time for Detroit to make a hit, but I remember when I was in there and I was listening to the radio and I'm like, damn, Ain't too many people from Detroit on the radio. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? But everybody was telling me, like, no, Detroit doing it. Detroit. But I'm not hearing it, though. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm like, maybe if everybody put that shit to the side, especially when it's about the money. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. If it ain't about the money, what, what, what we, we doing? About? Right. You know what I'm saying? So if it's really about the money, why not say, all right, well, I'm going to be the bigger person for everybody in you know what I'm saying? Let everybody come along with me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm, I'm, fuck what it was. Fuck with it. This is what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? Right. You with it or... And it's probably going to be some people that ain't with it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And them the niggas who going to get cropped out the picture. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm hating. Yeah. One thing I noticed, though, from, from the last time we talked to you to now, I noticed the growth. Yeah, for sure. You feel what I'm saying? Me... Maybe because like like a Pooh, we just interviewed Pooh Shiesty and Pooh was like, man, I seen my first interview with y'all, man. I was so fucking high, I couldn't even barely talk. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So now you come home, you got a clear mind, you hear the growth. You hear the, before you went to jail, you wasn't talking that. Nah, for sure. Now you talking like, fuck. listen, man, we all get money together, man. Because now you go to jail, you sit down, you get to think and you get to realize that what's really important out here. Yeah. And what's really important out here is niggas being from the inner city, making it out and being able to feed their family and the people that's around them. Imagine how fun it'd be mm. to be at home, man. It's nothing but love. Imagine right. being able to go to the store without clutching your pole. Like, right. You know what I'm saying? Being right. able to ride around, go to, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that. Being able to throw block for it. Like, we don't right. even got that type of shit. Right. Like, and the fan base would be bigger because, okay, you my man, I really like his music, but I, I can't, can't never play that shit around yeah. y'all niggas. I dump that shit when I'm in the car on my own. Yeah, for yeah. sure. But I can't post it. I and can't support it. you know it. they listen I, to the music. Absolutely. Like, you can't. You absolutely. Know what I'm 
I I'm listen br- to people shit like right. who people won't think. Like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. You keeping it real. You like yeah. hey, even though I might not have fucked with you at the time. That shit, yeah, yeah, that shit was yeah, hot. Yeah, 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 for sure. You know what I'm saying? So it's like and it, it brings separation in. When it's like when we all together, everybody can support everybody. Yeah. Now the win is bigger. You feel what I'm saying? The win is bigger. The movement is bigger. Our records is bigger because we together. We done joined our fan bases together. Everything is just bigger. So a lot of times, motherfuckers got to understand that. You got to understand that Jay-Z and Nas won at it before. Yeah. Nas dropped Ether. Them niggas later on in life, Nas signed with Jay-Z. Yeah. So this shit is about getting money, man. This shit is, that's all this is about. This shit is, is about getting money, man. We already did the street shit. You 20 some years old. You've been in the streets your whole life. No, for okay, sure. when is you gonna be like, okay, I'm I, now it's time to be in the suburbs. I done gave the streets 20 something. Fuck y'all want me to die out here? No. no. I'm gonna die in a big ass house. I'm trying to die of natural causes, nigga. Then they gonna laugh at you. Laugh right. at you and talk crazy about you. He's a dummy. Right. As soon as you go to jail or something happened to you, yeah, I knew that was gonna they talking about Ain't you. Ain't nobody gonna praise you. Like even fuck if no. you standing on niggas still, I'm like, he fucked up, man. He threw away all this shit to you know what I'm saying? Right. No, they they say he don't come around, he don't come around, but then when you come around and they kill you, they gonna say, What the fuck was he doing out there? Oh man. He got sure. Bentleys and shit. Mm-hmm. He got a mansion in two different cities. And I remember I couldn't even think straight without going to the hood. Like, I'd be somewhere for two, three days. I'd be calling, man, give me a flight back home. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready to go home and pull straight up to the hood after all day. And it's like, when I was in jail, I used to think about it like, what the fuck was I doing? Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, why even give somebody that opportunity? Like. You know what I'm saying? No, because when you come from the hood and you make it out, let's just keep, I got to keep it real. When you come from the hood and you finally make it and you get some money, you got to go back and stunt. You got to stunt. Hell yeah. You got to go back in there. But after the stunt, fuck was y'all talking about? Fuck was y'all niggas talking about, nigga? They been shitting on them for so long, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Fuck was y'all niggas talking about, nigga? I've been doing this shit for years. They been been seeing this shit for years. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes, they don't see it. They don't believe it till they see it. Yeah. Oh yeah, we seen and that shit on that. Instagram. We seen that shit on Instagram. That shit ran it. It's like the love ain't real unless it comes from somebody you know. Like, yeah, you, you, you know, uh, we grew up in the ghetto, and growing up in the ghetto, no matter what we got right now, a lot of times we think about the times we was fucked up. Mm-hmm. Our yeah, mamas was sure. fucked up with popping mm-hmm. penitentiary, and we ain't had. So even though we got it, we still see that in us, and we like. Everybody in, in, in it's a vulnerable state because we be so real and so tough out here. We don't know how to be human beings no more. So the vulnerable state is I want to be accepted by my people, by my hood, by the OG over there, is by there Keisha. Is something wrong with that though? No, That's what I no, thinking. Like, ain't nothing wrong with that as human. I do want to be accepted by, by like, your people. What's wrong with it though? But because, because it, it's, it's the fear of getting hurt and getting rejected by the people that you grew up in the environment you grew up because when you were a kid, you looking at Mike and like, oh, here, Mike had the business yet. I want to be like Mike, so I got to come and get that same reaction. And then when you don't get the reaction, it messes you up a little bit and you go into, you you fall back because you're like, damn, everybody, that's like your family. You want your family to love you. Yeah. Shit get, it get messed up and we had the falling outs. But where we from, we want, us to, we want our people to love us the most. But I'm going to touch on something you said and I'm going to touch on it because it's important. Because you... You, you said some ball stuff. And uh, I got a lot of love for Detroit. Detroit is a beautiful uh, community. And I've been out there. I done talked to uh, Payroll, Grizzly, uh, Sada, uh, GT. Skrilla. They, I'm talking about, I'm talking about every, I didn't talk to everybody, Babyface. I didn't talk to everybody. And I told him, I told Iceway, I said, man, y'all niggas better wake up. Because yeah. Detroit ain't going to be hot forever. Ain't nothing hot forever. So y'all better get it together right now and figure this shit out. I'm, you know, I can't speak on anybody that died in the process of, the, you know, the beef. But it, we got to start figuring out how to live for our homies instead of be so willing to die. Because, nigga, if you die, you can't be here to take care of the babies. Who going to take care of the babies? Now you you in a situation where you like, man, fuck that. Ain't none of this shit more important than the babies. When you was in the car on the gram another day with the baby. I'm like, look at him. That's life. Yeah. That's the real life. Who going to take care of the babies? Yeah, we used to talk about that. Yeah. Like, and visit. 
You know, I used to be asking, how y'all gonna, how y'all gonna be at the shows? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I said, how y'all gonna be in the show? They, we gonna be, you know what I'm saying? So to see them get that chance, like, I was proud of that. You know what I'm saying? I was yeah. living for that. And at the end of the day, that's a little you, man. Yeah, for sure. That's a mini you. Every day you gonna see them grow. You know what I mean? You gotta understand, you miss some time in their life where you didn't even get to see them grow. Yeah. You come home, they look a little different and shit. You're like, damn. Yeah. Little for nigga sure. that got big shit. So at the end of the day, now the mission should be never to miss another birthday. Right. Absolutely. Shit. Never birthday, miss birthday, school. None school, of that, all that shit. Stuff. You feel what I'm saying? No, because you're sure. a father now, now. And you got and you got some money. You got some financials. You got you got some leverage to where you could do real father shit. Like, no, I, I can show you different shit. Not just the, the regular shit. I can show you different shit so you can understand different parts of the world. You you understand. You take them. You could take your kids to the Dominican Republic. You could just ride through the streets and you just going to see the motherfucking poverty. And it's like, Dad, why they doing that? Oh, no, because they ain't got. See, you could teach them a different type of education. Take them different places. You got financials. So to be missing out on things that you could be doing. And showing your kids shit that you never was able to see, that's not never where it's at. You feel sure. what I'm saying? My kids done been all across the motherfucking world. Yeah. I ain't, I thought going to a, getting on a fucking plane and going to Atlanta one time to visit my motherfucking pop was something. Yeah. That shit wasn't nothing. Little funky ass I want to have. <laughs> shit, that's what you be doing it for though. Yeah. If you ain't doing it for the kids, like, you Absolutely. know what I'm saying? You living the past this shit on. This episode of Million Dollars Worth of Game is brought to you by Straight Talk. A new Straight Talk wireless offering is now available where you can get a Walmart Plus membership included on select Straight Talk wireless plans for free. Only Straight Talk wireless gives you unlimited data, talk, and text, plus a Walmart Plus membership included on select plans. Some of the uh, perks of the Walmart Plus Select Straight Talk Wireless plans are free delivery from Walmart stores. I'm talking about free of charge. You just call, uh, order, uh, uh, what, wham, free of charge. Uh, free shipping, no order minimum. Paramount Plus membership and members price on fuel. So you're saving on gas price. You feel me? You're saving like everybody need a little extra when it comes down to them gas prices. So, Straight Talk Wireless is available at Walmart and Walmart.com. Straight Talk Wireless is available at Walmart. So, you walk into Walmart, I get three, four, however many phones you need for the whole family at a great rate. What are we talking about? Unlimited data, talk, text, everything. Straight Talk Wireless, available at Walmart and Walmart.com. Straight Talk. Right. This episode of Me and I's Worth a Game is brought to you by New Amsterdam Vodka. Now, uh, life ain't going your way. Shout out New Amsterdam Vodka. You caught your wife cheating today? Shout out New Amsterdam Vodka. Wait, the holidays is coming around and you want to celebrate in a great way? Shout out New Amsterdam Vodka. This is still five times. It's filtered three times for that clean, crisp finish. You can drink it straight up on the rocks, juice of soda. Or you could just make a classic New Amsterdam mule. But just know when you out and about at your local liquor store, pick you up some of that New Amsterdam vodka. You don't just walk past that New Amsterdam vodka like that. You scoop it up. You take it to the counter. Boop! Get home. Drink it how you like it of your choice. You can make some cocktails. You know, you can do what you want. Shout out to the cocktail queen. Tootie. We'll be at the crib cocktailing it up with her girlfriends. But it's the holiday time right now, so if that's what you went to, make sure you celebrate the holiday season with New Amsterdam Vodka, the official vodka of Barstool Sports. Right. Now, I want to touch on something. Let's talk about the music. You always want to touch on something. Man, man shut up, nut. <laughs> Let's talk about this music. Now, <laughs> JC, he be, he be watching this shit on the gram laughing all day. He think no, that, you know, no, no, he be, that's, he like, that's his introduction because I want to touch on what you just said. No, I got to touch on something. Touch man, on you know this. I want to touch on yeah. that. Why you always uh, want to touch on something? You know what I mean? I got to feel what's going on. <laughs> so, so, so the whole thing is the music. Is, is a lot of your stuff you was writing in the cell or when you come out, you like, I want to feel this. Like, what is your process? I, uh, I want to feel it. Like, so... You know, and that bitch, you really can't. 
I started rapping in jail, so I, I thought it was gonna come like right back easy in that process, like you know what I'm saying, right and shit. But when I was in there, I wanna think like you ain't living, so it's a different thing. Like I freestyle. Mm -hmm. Like I go in there and I just rap. You know, I don't really write, so I'm actually talking about some shit I just did or, you know what I'm saying? Or just idea, you know, maybe I ain't do it or maybe I'm finna do it or want to do it or, you know, maybe I'm painting a picture. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Without living, I was in there, I might, a slick hook might come to my mind or something. I'll write it down and shit like that, but I couldn't really lock in like that. I had to come. So when I came home, I really ain't jump back in the recording all fast. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because you had to see it, feel what it, you smell said. it. Yeah, for what you said, like you gotta feel this shit. Like I gotta re have fun. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then I feel like it's gonna come as like I'm getting back. I'm getting back in and now. How, how many and since you've been out? You've been out a few weeks. Yeah. Uh, you, is you working on a project? Yeah. And like, how many songs deep you in? I say about half. Like, right. I'm probably gonna do 14. Mm -hmm. I'm about 70. All right, now let me ask you a question. Before you went in, how many songs you think you got on them hard drives that'll be worthy to be that be that will be worthy to be released? Uh, I said at least a uh, 90, honey. Well, I'm saying is you gonna is you gonna give the piece is you gonna slide some of that in? Yeah, for sure. That's why I'm juggling like old versus new. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like that still got his relevancy, like mm -hmm. other day. You know what I'm saying? But I got, I got some for y'all for as, the show. As an artist, do you do you ever, when you process the picking a song, like do you, when you re, is you letting the homies hear it first, or you just like this is going, this is the one? How do you process it, or or do you overthink about this shit? Like I overthink for sure. They will tell you like, it take me years. Probably to put out a tape like, Damn. I don't. You gotta think I only put out, shit, three mixtapes. I never dropped the album yet. You know what I'm saying? Is this gonna be an album or is this another mixtape? This gonna be an album for sure. Oh, so you you bring you bringing some big dogs out on this joint with you? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, already, I already know. Uh -huh. Yeah, I already know. He bringing a fucking E team out. Nah, for sure, hard too, front to back. It's yeah. gonna be hard from the back. And then the tour gonna come? Yeah. I'm glad you wait till you got out here though to see it, smell it, inhale it, feel it, mm -hmm. touch it. Because niggas that come home from jail with them fucking jail raps. Yeah. I just wanna tell you y'all be corny as shit. Yeah. And a lot of y'all niggas be talking about jail. Y'all be talking about the situations that y'all in. Niggas be out here in the free world. They don't want to hear that shit. You coming home, stab a nigga over Reese's. Ooh, late night cooking, cheat, cheat. They don't want to hear <laughs> that up, shit. Hold up, hold up. Tupac, they don't want to hear that shit. Tupac wrote this shit no. in jail? No, Tupac wrote, Tupac wrote deep wrote shit, jail. though. He don't know that. Stop fucking lying. No, you he was right. with Pac, man. How the fuck he, you know that? I thought he wrote some shit in jail. <laughs> See, you're lying, man. No, I'm just saying. Like, he had a lot of You lyrics. know what I used to think about a lot in there? When is, like, the police gonna step back and let you be an entertainer as far as watching what you rapping about. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, they, I was thinking like, shit, well, Grand Theft Auto, they let them put out Grand Theft Auto. You know what I'm saying? And they ain't going to jail for you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. it's a, it, you know Run what? around shooting motherfuckers yeah, talking crazy. Like, or they ain't, going, a, they ain't going to jail for putting that idea out. Like, you should carjack at eight stop. Like, they don't go to jail for that. So I feel like for a young, like, or any rapper, you feel me? Like, why would I say it's so much of a thing? Like, But I'm just going to keep it real, too, though. Like, niggas got to stop telling on themselves. Yeah, for sure. Like, I'm saying, like, if you shot Man Man at 930 on 56th Street, you can't fucking say that. Yeah. That's real. Now 30 when I shot Man Man on 56th Street with the fucking cannon. Ooh, no, you really did that. You can't yeah. fucking say that. What but the what about fuck the are you doing? Do no, you know what? That's it, something different because if you didn't do it, you not. See, a lot of times it's good to talk about shit. Okay. And like just 
being expressive, not actually talking yeah. about what the fuck you actually did. Yeah. These young niggas actually talk about what they did. Then they they actually claim the work. They actually say, nigga been dead for a half hour. They already on the gram. We smoking Charlie. Yeah. Isn't that Charlie Pack? That God damn, you niggas already said who murdered the nigga in 30 minutes. I feel a, a lot of why I went to jail is because of how I rap. I feel like they was. You think the prosecutor, the prosecutor used it against you? Not so much of the prosecutor, but like they the police. Listen. Okay. I feel like even giving me a federal case, like, Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? I went to jail. Like, my whole federal process was because I went to the gun range. And somebody recorded me. You know, okay. It's a felony, true. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, how the fuck y'all even know about this? I wasn't big. Like, you know what I'm saying? I was still, you know what I'm saying? And when it came out of court, they like, anonymous caller. First off, I'm in Atlanta. I'm from Detroit. You know what I'm saying? Don't nobody know I'm down here. Like, I'm still regular almost. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So when I'm like, anonymous. You know what I'm saying? It just show you like, them motherfuckers was watching you. No, I'm gonna yeah. give you some game though. I'm, I'm, I got one better than that. I think a lot of people don't understand that the street game is over. Yeah. Like, I'm gonna tell you a quick story. I was in a cell. I was in a hole in a penitentiary. Mm -hmm. Greatest full penitentiary near the death row section where they had the, the hole. So this young boy come back from court. He telling these other young boys, so when he come back, they screaming through the gate, you ran ass out, boom, 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 boom. So when the young boy get to the back, he get in the cell, I said, damn, young, come to the gate, man. What's going on, man? You uh, you understand? You got to come to court, man. You hey, Yeah. This is what he told me. He said, OG. He told me, listen, man, first of all, mind your business, OG. <laughs> yeah. He told me and some other gangster old head this. I said, what, I said, what, what you talking about, man? He said, listen, OG, you ain't been out there. OG, you playing by some rules in the book that nobody read no more, man. your fucking business. Yeah. So he said to say, like, nigga, I'm getting down. We operating in a time where this shit is over with. Nobody, I be trying to tell dudes, yo, go, go ahead, man, remix your hustle. It's over. Because you show me 10 real street niggas, I'm going to show you seven is going to tell. Because nice. I, could t I could quick and tell you it's easy for everybody to say, I'm a day one, I'm real. You ain't never been tested to say you was day one. You ain't never been tested to say you was real. You ain't never fought 40 years. You ain't never fought, you ain't fought five, 10 years. Yeah. So for you to say all this, so everybody, and I'm not gonna put it on anybody, but people, people operating, man. They operating with them people. So a lot of times we looking around, looking at everybody like they real and they solid, just because you go on Instagram and say you solid, cause you got a gun, because you committing crimes, that don't mean you won't tell. So when, when you doing something out here, you got to be mindful that you got a lot of cameras, but you got a lot of human cameras and human recorders. I was telling Gotti, like, bro, Gotti, I was just in that bitch. Niggas is not going back to that bitch, Gotti. No. <laughs> like. Going back, they not going the first time. <laughs> Man, I'm like, bro, I just can't see a nigga going it, I say, bro, you gotta, boy, you gotta have some real morals and standards and understanding about yourself to say I'm finna go sit down for anything. You know what I'm saying? Of course, I grew up how I grew up, so I'm like, you, you know, know what, what I'm saying? I always been like, I gotta take what I gotta take. Absolutely. Like, you know what I'm saying? You stay in what you do. Hopefully this shit won't be over with for me. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's what men do. When you jump out there and you say, you know what, I just push the subscribe button to the motherfucking streets. Yeah. I'm in the streets. I subscribe to the streets. That's what come with that shit. Yeah. Anything that come with that shit that come my way, I'm standing on that shit. Yeah. Whatever it is. And my woman better than a motherfucker. Feet look like she didn't walk on the motherfuckers until she was about 20 years old. <laughs> yeah. And she wrote me from one prison to another prison and said, babe, don't be over there stressing. If I got to do two years, I can do it. So the thought of a nigga telling? Yeah. Shit, man, that shit ain't even. <laughs> the thought of a nigga that said, I'm going to subscribe to the, the streets and do some motherfucking crime. How many and then I'm going to get like... caught and point the finger at a nigga. <laughs> Shit. How many niggas you think can lead a girl right Listen, now? listen, listen. Young boy, 
That's out there. They not. Your homie ain't leaving Fat Bud's Keisha. No. Because Baby Leg gonna get her. Baby Leg gonna <laughs> fuck the brakes he off gonna, her. He gonna put that, that, horse, well, that horse leg in her. He gonna fuck the leather jacket off her. Man, lead the zippers on the bed. I'm telling you, like, yeah. niggas ain't leaving these hoes. And, and, and see, I'm telling you, and these new young girls, oh, they ain't got the, the morals of the girls back in the day. Man, the women back in the day give you at least a year before they start just blazing. They ain't gonna give you two weeks. Bitch, I they gonna be out here Preliminary exam. What? Fuck that nigga. I ain't like him anyway. <laughs> you know, take his head. <laughs> he blocking my motion. Well, what? That nigga blocking my motion. Get a him out the way. Wait for you to go. What? Hell yeah, he gone. Where you at? I mean, I seen it. Uh, son, he's seen real. it too. That's why he called me. Go around there and see if that Carly get the fuck out. Of there. Man, she gone. While I ain't no some real shit. I ain't even one time. Listen, listen. Atlanta too. So the home girl, you know, what I'm talking about B. She was going to Spelman. Yeah. So I call. I'm calling the crib. I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm all going to the phone. and go call my baby. I call the crib. Some, some, some nigga answer the phone. <laughs> oh no, she ain't here. I'm like, I had to. I had to catch myself. And you know, make sure my composure was right, because it seemed like somebody a Mack truck just ran over my heart. I'm in the phone room like this. Oh my God, I can't believe this shit. My baby, he got my baby. Uh, he was in there saying, "Don't believe them, just listen, yeah, good girl." Listen, listen, you don't yeah. So I had to get myself together. <laughs> no. So I got to get myself back together, because she supposed to be that here going to school. Some nigga, some she nigga put, school to school. Some nigga school put the baby leg college. on it, right? I couldn't believe that shit, man. I was hurt. <laughs> she was going to the school of hard cops. Hey, that girl getting right. That don't hurt anybody yeah. in that bitch, she though, was, boy. She was banging yeah. the shit out of Jay-Z. It's a hard cop. Listen, listen, hold on, hold up. You was, in jail. you was in jail before you blew up. You did a bit before you blew up. How many, how many chicks fucked you up when you called? You made that call. Hurt your, hurt your heart. Oh, I love them. They hurt you? Yeah. Do, do, you, do you see them these days? You see any of them? Any of them? Shit on them, eh? Oh, dude, he's still he, he's he, still getting he petty, nigga. You petty, nigga. Real petty, petty too. <laughs> you petty, Murphy, nigga. Petty is real. I might try to make for feature. Yeah, Drake said. <laughs> Straight up, I'm, I can't wait to see a beach. <laughs> Man, I'm a step on it the right way. Too. Hurt, they hurt him. He was in there bleeding. Uh -huh. Probably are. Now, now, uh, it was so. It was one that you thought was on your side. She bounced on you. Yeah, it was a few. Crush your fucking kid, heart. Huh? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so. that kid love be different, but it did fuck your heart up, didn't it? It really ain't, you know. Don't lie, you was I in the cell. Like, ah. No, I wasn't doing no shit like that. You wasn't doing that, huh? <laughs> Hell no. The wallow was. I was just like, fuck that bitch. No, I wasn't you know saying that. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I can't wait to shit on that hoe. Huh? I wasn't saying all that. You cried. I you was cried. called Thomas. I was emotional about that shit. Like, damn. Nah, I, can't yeah, nah. shit. I can't believe it. I'm like, damn, I'm in the cell. Like, fuck. Then, then he, then, then let me ask you a question. When you was in jail, did you ever go on one of them prison websites, man? No, hell no. Oh, uh, <laughs> no. My man's in there. They on that shit heavy, though, dog. <laughs> they on that shit you. heavy, bro. I told you, that's how you get the action. I told you. This nigga was on be the prison of that I told you. No, this, my man, I'm always dumb as shit high. I'm Wallace. So I love man, to take long walks. My man, V12, man. Shout out to my man. He on that heavy. And they, and they writing him, ain't they? Hell yeah. 65, him. man. He's a sick individual, too, dog. 65 you know year old doing. and all that, huh? Man. <laughs> See, Let me just tell you something to all the women out there. If you're on meetaprisoner.com, you're a LL, a lonely fucking loser. What the oh, fuck? No. All, all, these no, niggas out here, all these niggas out I here in the street. I used to get it, though. You, you know, know what I'm saying? You gonna go to jail? I asked the nigga. I say, damn, I wonder, I wonder what make a... What make a free woman get on this bitch? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Hey, he talking about, man, you know all the real niggas is the dead in jail, man. Yeah, you know what that, that like, And that's a myth. Stop saying that. All the real niggas dead in jail. No, all the court niggas is in jail. All the, all the man, niggas that got caught. Man, I'm always riding them niggas by the 50s, though, like. Yeah. No, Wallow caught a, a 63 year old. She was coming me, stop, but she was coming up to that jail religiously. He got hey, out. Me and be riding them niggas, too, though. What? Yeah. <laughs> Hey man, I swear to God, bro, my man B12, he was on there and shit, and he like, you feel me? Somebody wrote him and shit, bro. Oh, so shit. you got to think, he tell this shit in jail. I'm in that bitch in Stories tears from the laughing. Cell. He like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Somebody wrote me and shit, and he like, you know, I like, I'm a man, I like men and shit. So I'm like, what you write? What the fuck? He said, I wrote his ass and said, Hey, I appreciate you letting me know, homie, but this ain't that. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Man, they had me there. 
And he said, I appreciate that, homie, but this ain't that. Man, that nigga had me laughing so It got him out the way. What? Now, 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 when you was in there, what was, what was your favorite spread, man? Because I know you had a big commissary bag. You was, you, you was kind of... Uh, what I... My man, he had the plug on the kitchen. Yeah. Bro, they had me in there working in the kitchen. Oh, you had a... Oh, you... Oh, what was you doing in the kitchen? What was 42 doing in the, kitchen? in the kitchen? I in the kitchen, bro. See, up there where I was at, and they was being funny, like. Yeah, putting you to work. Man, waking me up at 4 in the morning, bro. Like, I'm That's talking the about same killing me, That was my schedule. That was his schedule. <laughs> I had to prep for the breakfast and all that. Yeah, hey, See, you know what's going they on. They bringing me that bitch. So, I'm telling you, as soon as I get in there, I'm like, how the fuck I'm going to get out here? So, I tell the lady, like, you know I can't be on my, my feet. And she, I got shot. You know what I'm saying? You trying to run some game on it. Yeah, so she made me rap a thousand forks. He was a prison waiter. Oh my God. <laughs> he was a, waiter. He was a prison waiter. She Yo. Made me, oh hey, shit. She made, she made me rap a thousand forks, bro. All morning. So you, you let was, me leave. So every morning you done it. Hey, morning. Oh, my Wait, God. Wait, this is the second so time. I got out of there. This is the second person who, who made out crazy. for a game who was a prison waiter. Beanie Siegel. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. And they knew I rap. She used to tell me, hey, P. Diddy. She that calls she, you P. Diddy. Uh, yeah. Fuck, she call you P. Diddy. White lady. She's like, hey, P. Diddy. <laughs> She's like, you know what? Fuck, she call you Puffle. You, you know what your job is. <laughs> she made me sit down and rap a thousand forks every morning. God. I remember I went to the, uh, the supervisor. Like, bro, why? You know, I ain't asked for this job, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, it's people that can use the money. It's shit like this. Like, y'all got people waiting to listen. Y'all can get his job to them. So she come back like, yeah, you fucking told my supervisor. Yo, 30 days is starting over. Because she said I had 30 days. So I'm on like day 28. Oh, she like, your 30 shit. days is starting over and shit. So they end up getting me out of there, though, because I was, I was real chill. You know what I'm saying? So they respected that. He tried to act like he was looking out for nothing. Seven motherfuckers could use this money. Yeah, yeah. Money. Hell yeah. You know, how much? How much was they paying you an hour? I never got paid. So they burnt you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah he didn't need the money. He I, yeah. the point of. But see, you I wanted was, my shit though. He wanted his nineteen cent an hour. Yeah, because I'm like, y'all got me up at four cent. fucking in the morning. He that wanted nigga his, made nineteen cent. Man, you mean to tell me when they, when he they was hit like, shot them chicks? I went to that bitch like, where is my money at? Hold on, but hold up, hold up. You a petty nigga. But how man. much? Yeah. How, how much? How much was you supposed to get an hour? I just need to know that. I think I was making like seven cents an hour. No, right now hold up. How much was you making a show before you went in? Hold up, honey. Damn. No, no, fuck that. You mean to tell me you went up for a seven cent check? And you was no, mad about? I worked and ten I hours. It, they though. like, oh, that's fuck seventy. That. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> you a petty man. You petty as you, you petty, man. man. They <laughs> was petty. They fucking with me. That's they waking crazy. me up at four in my bra ass schedule, but, but, bro. But, but, but no, but no. All jokes aside. <laughs> this nigga out here eight cars walking up yeah. and asking motherfuckers all, for 70 cents. Where my 70 cents in there? All jokes aside. They're like, you got 11,000 on your books. Hold up, cuz. <laughs> all jokes aside, yeah. you went from getting 100,000 to 7 cents. And, and, and the reason that's important Nothing, is really. people need to pay attention. <laughs> When we got these blessings, and don't disrespect your blessings because that's that's like humanly impossible. I'm getting a hundred thousand for a show. How long was your show? Probably forty five. Forty five minutes. So you went from getting uh, for forty five minutes getting a hundred thousand to for an hour getting seven cents an hour. Yeah. Y'all add that up. Think about that. But now you know you doing your thing. We gonna get to this music. I'm still salty. He wasn't trying to get that check. Yeah, he petty. He petty Murphy. Petty ass nigga. He Detroit petty nigga. Man, they, I need all mine. I mean, yeah. now, now you know. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> they working me. Yeah. Now, when I came in here, you was hating on minivans. My car collection. Yeah. We, we got to see your car collection. You better. You better not. You better be. You better. You know, be, I'm game tight. You better be on your shit. Cause I got some classic. I got some classic minivans. You know, you know I'm what I mean? Game tight, man. All the right shit, man. I'm gonna show y'all all the right shit. All the right shit, huh? No cap. All right, let me ask you a question. When we was from Detroit, what side we'd be from? Yeah, east side. Okay, east side. Okay. Sure There's only one side of Detroit. Is that where Sloppy Crab and all that food is at? That's downtown. That's where he'd be from. You'd be from Center City, nigga. I'm trying to get some good yeah. food. You'd be from Center City, Detroit. Detroit. I'd be posted up with a Shinola. That's my favorite hotel. You know what I mean? But you went to jail and ain't tell, though. Yeah, so. that's yeah. Shit, he tried to. He Fuck you talking about. No, I'm going to tell you what happened. No, I'm going to tell you what happened. This nigga I snitched on me. I got away. He actually about. snitched on me. That's why I did the dub. They, they, they tripped you know the shit out of me. Talking about, cuz they got us. Come out. The fuck out of here. That's the fuck you talking about. Might say no shit like that. Fuck wrong with you. He on the ground talking about, 
Cuz, come from under the F-150. What you going to jail for? Robberies. But this right, nigga, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me let me straighten something out. Nigga, you snitched on your wife. How you get out a couple days? Out How the fuck you get out some days early to <laughs> I her, didn't nigga? Get out before you snitched my wife, on two. You ass nigga. You snitched we got on out two. the same time, nigga. Fuck you talking okay, about? Well, call her. She gonna tell the truth. She gonna when, when I got out of jail, she was waiting <laughs> on me, nigga. Yeah. And she gonna say, no, nah, he called home every day, snapping on everybody. Get my fucking wife out of jail. How long you do? Oh, I ain't do no time. I'm, I was waiting on bail. <laughs> Oh, 10 days Fuck out of here I'm getting to the bottom of this shit I'm gonna let you slide With this dumb ass shit Come on man You just you, Cause you tried to get me To do some time with you I don't wanna go in Without my big cousin And all this shit No bitch You're going to jail without me yeah, Fuck you talking about You ain't side nigga son Where Tootie at man Who the fuck you worry about Where my wife at me You're lucky man I was going to the bottom of this shit She ain't got to answer The phone for you nigga She got to answer The phone for me Fuck, fuck the bottom of this shit <laughs> Fuck wrong with him Call my woman like she asking where well, my woman at. Hoping, man. You don't want to do that. that dumb shit, shit out you. And another thing, stop talking that Detroit Lion shit. Y'all should be the Detroit Lion Cubs. Y'all niggas never won nothing. Y'all see what the fuck the Lions doing, man? Man, Go cut that blue, shit out, man. man. Cut that shit you know out. What I'm, saying? I'm just gonna say this about the Detroit Lions, right? We can't you know be y'all fucked, fucked up organization when every great player y'all have. Retire in their prime. Nigga, I can't take this Who shit. Who are retired? Tell I'm me. Not, but Barry Sanders walked out. I ain't taking this shit. He still could have ran for another 12,000 yards. He ain't like, fuck Barry this Sanders shit. Barry Sanders is the greatest running back ever. He was. Though. And he walked out on these niggas because he said, I would top. rather be the fuck home no. than making no. money running for you niggas. We're Calvin Johnson top, was man. one of the greatest wide receivers ever. He said, I ain't doing this shit. Megatron. I ain't fucking with the Detroit Megatron, Lions. You I niggas ain't gonna trade me. Was. Look, this, 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 y'all right over. <laughs> Megatron. Niggas, go to, yeah, you gotta see them like, goats, bro. <laughs> They, is, they ghost, but they all quit on y'all niggas because oh, I, I can't do this shit. Go. Look at us now. This shit is about now. Don't let nobody get you caught up in the past. Oh, all right. You trying to say I'm an old nigga who life a throwback nah, Thursday? Though, <laughs> we want to see y'all, bro. <laughs> NFC championship. No, the fuck no, y'all the Eagles. We the last right. motherfucker show. Man, <laughs> wanna we want to see what? Don't nobody want to see us, bro. What's y'all record? Six and two. Oh, uh, what's our record? If we six and two. Oh, we the best team in the NFL. Wait, hold on. We was the best team last year, too, no, right? We had the best the record team. last year. We 7-1. Yeah, and one. Lost when it counted. We 7-1. Yeah, and one. you talking about? Yeah, Lord. No Everybody about lost their money, though. Uh, no worry about it. We coming back this year. Yeah. We coming back. This. We was there to lose, though. Y'all wasn't there to lose. Nah. We yeah. had to lose. Fuck all that. Lose, if you gonna lose, lose early. No, ain't no losing early. <laughs> that's nigga. some bullshit. That's that bullshit. <laughs> this that's your bullshit. Hand <laughs> that's your bullshit. If you gonna lose, that's you that gonna bullshit. lose early. You know goddamn all well. All they get everybody thinking we finna celebrate and shit. No, first of all, you know goddamn well y'all wouldn't mind losing in the motherfucking nah, the Super Bowl. Nah, hell no. Nah. We wanna be lose a whole first round. Fu- we don't even wanna go, bro. You lie to me. We be, win, bro. You gonna see the Super Bowl now to be uh, a bunch of look, fucking man. minks and buffs. <laughs> yeah. And we. Whole motherfucking stadium. Vegas, man. Yeah. Whole fucking stadium got on mix and buffs. You're like, nigga, you know this is in Phoenix, right? Meet me in Vegas, bro. In Vegas. We should make a bet. Shit, we can make a bet. You if know what? The I Lions can't... go, y'all gotta buy my ticket. Oh, that we, we're all adult. Go, oh, I gotta buy y'all That's easy. You're fucking right. We won't and be let my... me just tell you something. Don't put your fucking old head in the roof. You <laughs> think you gonna have me in the roof? I just see it out. I know you know young nigga you. slick. Yeah. We I just told you to put you in the roof, nigga. No, no, they think it's technical. I just told you I was buying y'all a ticket. I didn't say where yeah. the ticket was at. You go on the roof <laughs> and oh, all that shit. All right. Got Jalen Hurts right. looking like a fucking ant. <laughs> Jalen Hurts, man, y'all better hold this shit down. Cause we going to the Super Bowl. Y'all now y'all got Jared Goff. You know, let me just tell you how Jared Goff luck is. The team that traded him won the Super Bowl for the nigga they traded him for the next year. Yeah, he's it's just okay. like fucked up, man. He's done out here, man. Yeah, he's he finna do this shit now. He's gonna retire in two more years. I can't do this shit. Wait, he only retired with the jury, though. <laughs> no jury. No jury. Y'all ain't getting back only, first. Though. Only jury. Y'all never won no listen, jury. Listen, the only jury in Detroit is on you. Babyface Ray, yep. easy. That's it. That's the only jury on, <laughs> in no, Detroit. It's, it's some more rappers. See how they treat us. You know, you know, I ain't got she no hurt me, bro. Yeah, but listen, man. <laughs> he gonna get back. Listen, bro. we gotta get to these cars because this shit, back. this collection better be that. It's behind this door. It better be that. Oh, oh yeah, that's this, something light. Oh, your shit out there. That's something light. That's probably like about seven hundred out there. This shit get in the M's. Oh man, you dig? You know what I was? 
See that? Yeah, that's me too. Hold on, man. Yeah, that's a quarter on See, that. See, these niggas is... You know what I'm saying? That's a quarter on electric. These niggas is disrespectful, that's man. That's a quarter on electric, bro. Astro Wallow. This nigga just said, oh, Let it's know, light man. out there. I got $700,000 yeah, in cars. Yeah, 700 Two cars. But... This shit get up in the ends, man. Pay your taxes. So, so, they so. probably hear this shit. So, so, like, so, oh, we want some more. Ho, ho. So, you got some good. You know you, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Straight. So, so, only thing Straight. you saying is. Ho, ho, ho. I'm playing. Ho, ho. I'm playing, man. Because them Straight. taxes are funny. Them man. taxes be like they this. They light your ass up. Hey, Bumper. motherfucking quarter. Our taxes come through like this. It's the 13th. Come in, nigga. Oh, hey, man. The long I, way. I, 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 my kid. You can't make me a kid. We wallow. Shut up, nigga. Wallow be bitching. Hi, guys. They say it was a million dollars. They said, man, them eels hurt. Who hurt? Them, them hurt bitches. It all. Oh, them bitches stink. They stink so bad because you like, I don't even know no niggas named Sam. Yeah. Fuck, I'm giving this money to. But listen, at least, least, least you making the money to do that and, and it tell us with all these cars, all this money you got, you got real live good business partners. And the reason I say partners because with God and them do is like, it's a partnership, man. Real live business, man. Mm -hmm. I've re never seen a label where everybody's turned up, everybody getting money. Yeah, for I, sure. I don't see labels like that out here. I'm just being real. Yeah. Where everybody is getting money, everybody's up, you don't see that because a lot of times the CEOs of these labels, they still be trying to be on the stage and, and blocking the artists a lot of time. Yeah. You know what I mean? You don't see that over here. It ain't happening. I want to do it be hard picking your label one. You got to worry about that. Yeah. Because when you want a motherfucker see, see the best part about y'all is that y'all came in when Gotti was seasoned. Yeah. So, you know, not saying he would have been like that when he was younger, but even the thought of even competing with y'all is not even a, 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 a not part of a nigga's mentality. Because a nigga like everything that y'all trying to get, I already got, I already accomplished that. So I don't want to compete with you. I want to eat with you. Yeah. It's a difference. Big difference. It's a big difference. Yeah. And, and, and it he, make you want to go harder knowing right. you got that type of motherfucker yeah. behind you. Absolutely. That's like, a solid I want this nigga. shit for you. Like, right. You know what I'm saying? Shit, even if you get bigger than me, even if you get rich, you know what I'm saying? However. Because like, we live in a time, we live in a time where, and, and, and we always checking that shit, you got too many old niggas hating on the young niggas. Mm -hmm. yeah. And a lot of dudes blocking them or trying to compete with them when like, yo, dog, you supposed to be a coach some fucking weird. Go coach. What the fuck you still trying to play the game for? Your knees fucked up, man. Yeah, your ankles fucked up, man. Right. You got bad ankles. Yeah, right. and, and they be looking goofy. And they be looking goofy out here. You like, damn, what is y'all doing? Let the youngins get. So it's just crazy. But listen, let's get to these cars, man. You, you ready? ready? I'm ready. All right, let's go get to these cars, man. It's just like that. Right. I would have brought my minivans out here and I would have, you know, I got them. I would have put that shit to shame. Listen, I got the minivans, but I'm going to chill. Yeah. I mean, we're going to go check out, we're going to go check out a couple 42 you know, whips, man. Chill, we Believe chill that. sad, man. You know and we want to see, we wanna see that rap book. We I like, had to bring the army out to get all this shit up here, man. That's why you see. He only got a three of his whips here, but we just love to see who's snapping and who capping. And obviously, he fucking snapping. Yeah, <laughs> okay, oh, you got to have the towel on the seat? Yeah, man, this shit white, man. Yeah. Twenty thousand dollar alpaca. You block that shit. <laughs> you, know you block that shit, man. That's when you don't want to get no ashes on your shit. Yeah. <laughs> this thing beautiful on the inside. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, man. Pin my rap. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> All right, so where that rap book at? You got the rap book in it. So you drive around with the rap book? That's my jail mail, man. Let y'all know I ain't playing. Hold on. You got the jail mail and all that. You ain't got no rap book in here, though. Yeah, I do. I'm gonna see these rounds. He still got his jail mail, man. Look at him. He's driving at around this. with the jail mail. In the back of the truck. <laughs> oh, my bars, man. Okay, you got some bars up in there, huh? Uh, yeah. You know, I like I said. Is you using any of this, though? Is any of this gonna be on? Is any, is you I ain't really got into it yet, but. Hey, you know this shit, really. I still got the Kool-Aid from the hole. You got the Kool-Aid from the hole. Fuck that Kool-Aid. <laughs> who, who used to write you the most? Uh, my girl. Oh, okay. I ain't know, okay, you know, she got that good love for you. She held yeah, it down. She wrote me. Well, what, 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 any rappers used to write you? Check on you? I used to hit them on, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 
Motherfuckers from all over the world wrote me though. Like, yeah, that ain't all your mail either. No, this ain't all my mail. I had to throw some shit away. You know, these are the letters I said. I'm gonna make sure this motherfucker know they had me fucked up too. Mm -hmm. When they wrote you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, somebody somebody wrote you some crazy stuff. My girl, bro. I kept all her letters and shit. Like, make sure you know her shit. I kept my woman letter she wrote me. Cuz you got one letter, man. It you was in jail better. for 19 days, man. It, 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 it didn't matter. I kept it. I still kept it. Oh, Don't flicks? judge my them okay. 10 days for like fucking two years. Yeah, people flicks, man. Straight up, man. I should get them through there. Make sure y'all write y'all people, man. Send them pictures, man. She helped more than you think. That's what it's about. Yeah, man. So we gotta check the other whip out. He got real bad, but I'm gonna get to that, huh? What's that? Free me. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. You gotta do something with them. You gotta do something with them lyrics, man. No, for sure. Do some. Don't just leave. Don't just leave them. Don't just leave them stuck like that. You know what this is, man. I'm yeah. still riding around that rocket. Yeah, I smoke that. <laughs> SEO put this joint on the ground. My name ain't good. <laughs> you hear me? He said my name ain't good. <laughs> he said you smoke this motherfucker. Huh? Park this, like, like, like that joint. Nah, I kill it in that SEO. You smoke this, my name ain't good. Light it up. <laughs> This is not a cat, man. <laughs> this is a demon. This only came out one year. That's a demon. It only came out one year, man. You know what I'm saying? Demon, huh? Bitch, I need to get back seat, man. Yeah. You get in this bitch trying to ride around playing. You had to hold on, man. I might show you how to. <laughs> Let me see. Let me tap that thing. Oh, yeah, this ain't, this ain't that that's man. Go around the corner. Fuck no, that. No, this ain't that. Pull that bitch out, bro. Ain't nothing. Ain't nothing. Hey, you hear me? Yeah, it all for real, man. This bitch lift up when I go. All my niggas going if I blow. We wanna see this helmet, man. I ain't gonna do that, man. <laughs> I ain't gonna do that, man. This bitch probably, this bitch probably flat. Let's go see this helmet. Y'all see this thing right here? Uh -huh. They say the future is electric, so. Then you wasn't bought electric? No, no. I was mad as hell. I thought this bitch had an engine. I thought this bitch took gas, man. How much they wanted for this? Probably two seven. <laughs> This y'all stages too. Yeah, man, you know, still riding that T-top. Oh, they in the mall. You got a big ass switch. Oh, damn, that come off? Yeah, yeah, man, this come off, man. This bitch right here drives sideways, bro. You know what I'm saying? If you see me in Vegas, and I get up. You ain't gonna be in Vegas. Ain't gonna, you, you coming to watch <laughs> the Eagles play. That's gonna be play. me in Vegas on, on 30s. He coming to watch the Eagles play in Vegas. <laughs> That's gonna be me in Vegas on 30s, man. You know what I'm saying? Just some little shit, man. You know, this is how we chill, how we chill, man. This is going down, man. It's going down, man. November 25th, man. November Million dollars Detroit, worth of man. game, man. Detroit, you baby. You know what I'm saying? Youngest. Y'all go playing with us. Little man. baby say he the only young turnt, Nick. Come on, man. Y'all know it can't be fucked with records, man. <laughs> we we'll sign you guys. Oh, I got shit all over here. Oh, where is that? Did you? Gil, 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 you'll give him some work. Gil. Oh yeah, I'll give you work. Gil, Gil. What? You want to what? I'll give you some work in my shit. You don't want to try This is me right here. With the radio, man. Come on, man. You got one of these? Yeah. Not like, I, my, no, I got a uh, bro. I got T-Rex the bike, T-Rex the truck. Yeah, it's all heavy. That thing, that thing moved, don't it? Yeah, it is like a motorcycle. That thing ain't cutting on. What? You ain't start that joint up. No, I ain't started bitch up in years. Yeah, that thing is done. That thing nice though. Y'all got this thing back here, back here. Baby got one too. The white one here. Or right. you know we got toy, all type of toys. Y'all not, y'all not playing in this show. Mm -hmm. We got, you know, 
42. We got the biggest up in here, man. Uh, 42 is going down. Yeah. He showed them whips. You know, we ready to have it just like. Life shit, man. Next time I bump into y'all, I'm having all that shit out there, bro. Yeah. Detroit, man. Y'all better be there, bro. 25th. Oh, we, we, we pulling up. The 25th, be Detroit. Here, man. We're going to have shit doing. like a car show, bro. And all the youngins that want to that wanna call us and, and that's doing it. And we, you want to show us they that you snapping and not capping? We pulling up. We pulling up, man. And we yeah, might come man. to Detroit. We might host that joint. This snapping host over capping. We might come out there and host that joint. Who really Detroit, doing it? They love us out there. This they snapping over capping. Who really oh, doing it? Because he just showed us 800,000 in cars. Oh. And, and he said that most of this shit ain't even here. Who snapping and who capping? Come hmm? on, man. <laughs> yeah. Free us. We out of here.